Today I'm going to demonstrate using the intubating LMA. You may have come across an LMA during your anesthesia rotation on medical school or maybe a ride along during your EMS shift, but it's not often that residents have the opportunity to use the intubating LMA in the department. It's an important technique to have for that difficult airway, so today we're going to go over the uh, equipment required and the steps uh, used for the intubating LMA. So first you have the LMA itself, um, which is this rigid curved LMA tube uh, that has a handle attached, which allows for one-handed insertion of the LMA, um, and this is a cuffed LMA. You also have the dedicated silicone ET tube that is also cuffed. Um, this comes in the kit uh, with the LMA tube, um, and this ranges in sizes from 6.0 to 8.0. You also have the stabilizing rod, which is important for holding the ET tube in place while removing the LMA after successful intubation. You'll also need a connector device for the BVM, as well as a 20cc syringe and some lubricating jelly. Once you have given the medications and you're ready to intubate, start by grabbing the LMA tube. You want to ensure that the LMA cuff is deflated and that there's plenty of lubricating jelly on the LMA cuff. Insert the LMA by guiding the cuff along the hard and soft pallets and directing posteriorly. You can adjust the position of the LMA using this handle. Once the LMA is in, inflate the cuff using your 20cc syringe. You need to confirm LMA placement with VVM and looking for chest rise. Once you have confirmed LMA placement, you're ready to insert the ET tube. Again, ensure that the ET tube has plenty of lubricating jelly and the cuff is deflated. Simply insert the ET tube through the LMA. If you meet any resistance, adjust the LMA using the handle. The ET tube should go in smoothly without resistance. Once the ET tube is in, inflate the cuff. Now confirm ET tube placement with BVM by using the BVM connector device. Look for chest rise or end tidal CO2. Once you have confirmed placement of the ET tube, you're ready to remove the LMA. First, deflate the LMA tube Next, remove the BVM connector device from the ET tube. In order to remove the LMA, you need to keep the ET tube in position with the stabilizing rod. While pushing with your left hand the stabilizing rod to hold the ET tube in place, remove the LMA. Once you can see the ET tube, you want to stabilize the ET tube with your hand and either you or your assistant will need to remove the stabilizing rod from the LMA before you can take out the LMA completely. Now reattach your BVM connector device and reconfirm placement of your ET tube with end tidal CO2 or looking for chest rise. 